Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. When you think of collegiate athletics in New Jersey, you'll likely be thinking of Rutgers, Princeton, or Seton Hall. Chances are you might not be thinking about Brookdale Community College in Lincroft, but in fact, you probably should be. Brookdale's formidable Jersey Blues athletic program has been extremely successful throughout its history at the school, with a number of accolades and championships to its name. Both women's and men's athletics perform exceptionally well within their NJCAA divisions. Katie Amundsen, a former Jersey Blue herself, has led the women's soccer team to three consecutive national championships from 2013 to 2015, and now she's at the helm of the program as the athletic and recreation director. We have Katie here with us now to tell us a bit more about what the college offers to prospective athletes, their remarkable arena, and the success of their teams thus far. So I came to community college when I was a freshman here at the college in 2005, and I really enjoyed my time here. I played soccer and I played basketball, and I was also a part of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, uh, and I really did enjoy my time here as a student, so much so that I'm working here now. Um, and I've been involved in athletics here at the college for just over eight years full time. And we just have so many things to offer here at the college that I really wanted to give our students the same experience that I had here as a student. It's interesting you came to Brookdale and participated in athletics. What made you want to come here? Was it athletics or the academic program? What originally made me come to Brookdale was my family history. So a lot of my aunts and uncles and my cousins came to Brookdale. So I was actually coming here when I was a little kid to their games. Um, and I played high school, I played sports all throughout my high school career. And I really enjoyed my time out there on the playing field. So when I came to Brookdale, it was almost a natural thing uh, to join the programs. And um, I will tell you that it was something that I was a little bit afraid to do. But I'm so happy I did because I made so many amazing friends. Um, and I really um, was just able to grow as a person, both on the athletic side and on the academic side. So I know Brookdale has three full seasons of sports. Tell me about them. I guess start from the fall. For our fall sports, we offer men and women's soccer, women's volleyball, women's tennis, and we also offer men and women's cross country. Uh, in our winter sports, we have men and women's basketball, and we also have one club sport that we do offer here, which is our cheer and dance program. And then for our spring sports, we have baseball, softball, men's lacrosse, and we also have men's tennis. All of our programs here have a rich history of success, but our women's soccer program um, in 2013 won its first ever national title, and we went back to back in 2014, and then we won it again in 2015. So um, I will say I'm so proud of all the student athletes on all of those teams because they really committed to being a student athlete here at the college. They committed to taking care of business in the classroom, as well as then transitioning over to the playing field and really excelling at their game. Um, so the program has done really, really well. And the same is true for our men's soccer program. Um, they compete at the highest level too, and they've also seen some national tournament appearances. So both programs have really done well here at the college. So we have women's tennis and we have women's volleyball. Both programs have seen a lot of success, and we've actually had some individual national champions come out of our women's tennis program. Uh, women's volleyball we've had for the past couple seasons and the program is really starting to pick up. We're really seeing a lot of interest from students who are coming to Brookdale and transferring back into Brookdale for our women's volleyball program. So um, we are excited about the future for both of those programs and we are just looking to again be able to reach the most amount of students we can with all of our intercollegiate sports here at the college. So for recruitment purposes, I go out to all high schools in Monmouth County. Um, we have a big group of high schools within Monmouth County and we're able to, um, I talk to students, I talk to their parents and I really let them know what Brookdale is all about and what Brookdale can do for their child. You know, there, it comes to a point where their sons or their daughters um, are trying to make that decision on whether or not they're going to leave home for the first time and sometimes they're just not ready. And Brookdale is a great place to get your start and it's a great place because we've had so much success and our students do go on and transfer to four-year institutions academically and athletically and we just want to really pave that path for them um, with their start here at Brookdale. What advantage do you find with staying in the county, staying home I guess the first two years? You know there's a difference 
in high school, you're in a building for a certain amount of period, um, for a certain amount of time. When you come to college, you might have a class for an hour and a half, and then your day is free. So by coming here, you're really able to get acclimated to what's going on in the classroom, how professors um, go about their subjects. And then at the same point, then you're also able to get involved in college life. So yes, we have athletics here at the college, but we also have the Performing Arts Center, the Student Life Center. We have so many other avenues for students to take advantage of. And it's also for them to really get their first experience in other things that they may not have known they were interested in. And we provide that to them here at Brookdale. Because that is a fear for some parents and for some incoming freshmen that, well, if I come to Brookdale, am I going to miss the opportunity to go to a four-year school and get that scholarship? And the answer is no. We try to do a really good job in the athletic department, and all of our coaches do as well, with telling our student athletes and sharing the stories of student athletes that have come before them and to to put the message out there, just to let them know that the opportunity is there. Brookdale Community College speaks for itself. You know, the name speaks for itself. The success speaks for itself. And our students have really done so well academically and athletically that colleges follow us. I have a bunch of institutions from New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Florida, you know, on the West Coast as well that reach out and are asking about our student athletes on a yearly basis because now that they've had two years under their belt of the collegiate life, they're now more going to be better acclimated to that school's program. So you think they're more matured when they leave a two-year institution? Yes, I think they, they have their beginning here. They got their start here. So now they understand what's expected of them in the classroom. And they also understand what's expected of them on the playing field or whatever activity they're involved in. So there is so much opportunity for students to excel when they leave here. Um, it doesn't just stop because you come here. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities, and a lot of our students have really prospered because of that. So I know in the winter, basketball is big, not only on this campus, but throughout the nation. Tell me about your program here for men's and women's basketball. So our men's basketball program is actually coming off a undefeated national title last season. Uh, they went 34-0, which is the first time in the college's history. And we have such a successful program within men's basketball. It's their second national title. And we have students from all over the state of New Jersey who come here to play Brookdale basketball. And again, that's because of the amazing coaching staff that we have have been leading the men's basketball program for over 26 years now. And again, their leadership really propels our student athletes and pushes them to, to new levels. And that's really what we look for in our coaches. They do go out and they recruit um, all throughout New Jersey. And again, a lot of that comes, there are students who recruit Brookdale. You know, they know about our program. They see us all throughout social media. They see the success. Um, our coaches are very well known and there is a good um, alumni base here that we do get a lot of our um, recruits from that as well. Mm -hmm. And our women's basketball program, same thing. Um, a lot of success coming their way. Right now they're 9-0 in their, in their season and we are looking um, just to kind of see where they go. Rich Brunson has been the coach for the last few years and he, also, he started on the men's side and now he's on the women's side. But again, both programs, um, there's so much success and we are continuing to see our athletic participation increase on both programs. Now you have dance and cheer also in that same time frame, correct? Yes, our cheer and dance team, they're part of the, they're our club sport here at the college and they support both of our programs. They do a lot of functions across campus um, to support Brookdale um, on a whole, but they do. For The main part of their season is to, uh, to be here in support of both of our men's and women's basketball programs. They cheer throughout the games, um, and I know right now the program is looking to move more towards competition um, to really get involved in um, the collegiate side of cheer and dance. Once spring approaches, you have another set of, of uh, sports. Tell me about those. So we have softball, baseball, men's lacrosse and men's tennis. Um, all four of our sport programs are very successful again. Um, our softball program has won three national titles and they have made more than three national appearances. Um, and our baseball program, same thing, they find themselves in the final four of the Region 19 tournament. A lot of competition, you know, our Region 19 is based off of New Jersey, Pennsylvania and Delaware. And we have a very competitive, highly skilled um, group of teams that we play against. And again, our baseball program speaks for itself. Johnny Johnson has been a part of the program for over 20 years. And, you know, what I really enjoy here about Brookdale is that we have a rich history of our students coming back. So Eddie Galante is also a assistant coach for baseball and he's been for years, but he was also a student athlete here. So from his experience here, he really enjoyed it and really excelled that he wanted to do the same thing 
and give back to our students here at the college. So baseball has always been extremely successful. Uh, same is true for our men's lacrosse program. They were six peat. They won six region titles in a row. And they continue every single year to come back um, with the fire um, and are competing at the highest level in Region 19 as well. And then we have our men's tennis program who has won individual and team national titles um, since the program began. And student athletes who have graduated from Brookdale and have gone on to their careers but always find their way back to Brookdale because Brookdale meant something to them and they really want to make sure and ensure that our students here at the college um, have that same experience. You know, we have to take a break now. We're here in the great Collins Arena. I want to talk more about this place and the other facilities you have here at Brookdale. We'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This is Jersey. We're continuing our conversation with Brookdale Community College Athletics and Recreation Director, Caitlin Amundsen, here at the Robert J. Collins Arena. Brookdale has a history of excelling at junior college athletics, winning championships on both the state and national levels. And the Jersey Blues are proud of every one of their accomplishments, as evidenced by the many plaques and awards that line the mezzanine walls around the arena. Representative of almost all the different men's and women's sports, these hangings around the interior walls are a detail that add a lot to the atmosphere of the arena. Katie's here to tell us more about the division sports and some notable alumni players who had performed above and beyond for Brookdale. So in the last couple years, we wanted to showcase all of the success of our programs here at the college. So what we did is we created um, this mural um, around our walking track so that people can really see the success that we've had here. And um, all of these trophies um, are showing you the success at the state level, which is the Garden State Athletic Conference, New Jersey, as well as the Region 19 level um, that all of our sports compete in. So um, we have, like I said, a rich history of success that I'm extremely proud of. I'm extremely proud to be a part of. And the round ones represent regions, is that correct? Yeah, Region 19. That's comprised of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware, all the teams that we compete against. So all of our teams have had so much success since the beginning um, of our athletic programs here at the college. Now you've had a lot of graduates leave here and do some great things. Tell me about a few of them. First, I could speak with women's soccer is Heather Arbacheski. Heather Arbacheski was a Wall High School graduate, came to Brookdale, and was our first ever NSCAA Player of the Year. And she also was the Region 19 MVP of the Year two years in a row. Out of our entire region, so of all of the women's soccer student athletes, she was picked number one based off of her success here at the college. Um, she was the number one goal scorer. And at the NSCAA, that's at the national level that she was recognized out of the entire country um, for her performance on the soccer field. Heather's father uh, came to Brookdale and he was on um, the first baseball team that was inducted into the Hall of Fame here at the college. He was a part of that team. Um, so again, the history, the family history there, and her, it was a, it was a choice for her. Um, she was looking at other institutions, but she decided to come to Brookdale, and she really excelled here. And after Brookdale, after she graduated, after two seasons um, and two academic years completed, she went on to Georgian Court University on an athletic and academic scholarship. So she'll be graduating um, spring of 2019 at Georgian Court University with her bachelor's degree. Men's lacrosse student athlete Ryan Horsch, um, he played two seasons here at Brookdale and made a name for himself out on the lacrosse field. And when he left here, when he graduated with us, he went on to Monmouth University and he actually started their men's lacrosse program there. Really um, proactive in getting lacrosse on the map at Monmouth University as well. And then we were fortunate enough to have him come back and be our men's lacrosse coach here. Um, he's He's done great for the sport and he's done a lot of things within Monmouth County and Ocean County for um, men's lacrosse. And again, just another example of how a student who graduated from high school came to Brookdale and really excelled and then continued on within their career. So another women's student athlete here at the college that really left her mark was Shakesha Andrews. Uh, she was a women's basketball player here and she is the second student athlete to reach a thousand points in her sophomore career. And she excelled. She went past a thousand points. Um, she was a student athlete who really set the bar and uh, her teammates excelled because of her. They wanted to work harder because they wanted to make sure they were there to support her and in the action and Shakesha actually received an academic and athletic scholarship to Wilmington University where she's continuing right now to compete. So we are very proud of her and very proud of what she did um, for our women's basketball program here at the college. So she approximately recorded um, 1,276 points here at Brookdale in just two seasons. And um, 
no one else at the college has that record. She now owns that record, and now we're waiting to see what other student athlete is going to try and break it. You're an athlete. How does being an athlete help a student? Being an athlete is it's challenging. You know, you're committing on top of your class load to practices and games and being a teammate. So it's not just about you, it's about your team and really focusing and listening on to what your coach is trying to teach the team. Our students here are also faced with having to work. So now they have a work schedule on top of that. So being a part of a team really challenges you. It's, it's teamwork. You may, you may not necessarily have known the people that now you're teammates with and now all of a sudden all of you have to come together for the same common goal. And it really teaches you a lot about life um, a lot of life lessons are learned out on the playing field and you have to work through a lot of things and you have to really learn to control the way you handle yourself because there's a lot more at stake than what you're just doing since it's, it's a team and I've always said no matter what happens at the end of the day when that whistle blows or that buzzer goes off you win you lose you tie as a team it's never about you it's never just about one person everything is done together and I think that really sends the message of teamwork matters Interesting. You know, we have to take a break now. When we come back, I want to continue to talk about athletics at Brookdale. We'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This is Jersey. We're inside the Robert J. Collins Arena with Caitlin Amundsen, Athletic and Recreation Director at the, for the Jersey Blues Athletic Department at Brookdale Community College. The newly renovated Collins Arena is a multi-purpose facility primarily used for athletic competitions and special events at the college. The venue is even equipped to accommodate sold-out concerts, trade shows, live cooking demonstrations, tournaments, and more. The arena has been updated recently to include all new facilities and amenities for both players and guests, and is a comfortable and exciting venue for everyone. So we're in the Collins Arena, this is beautiful. Tell me about the facilities you have here at Brookdale. This is a state-of-the-art basketball facility. Um, this is the best, I would say, the best community college in the state of New Jersey. You're looking at our gymnasium here, uh, basketball court. Uh, we also have upstairs, which is the hospitality suite. And the hospitality suite we do like to use for outside organizations to come in to enjoy our intercollegiate athletic games as well as opening up to um, the campus community so that they can also come in and be able to enjoy the suite while watching our student athletes compete. Um, within this facility too, we have two huge team locker rooms which are fantastic um, for our student athletes really get a kick out of that. They each have their own little cubby. Um, they kind of make it their own for their season. Anybody who comes here, they really enjoy um, coming to Brookdale. They really like when we host bigger events because we have such a nice facility here at Brookdale. We also have the BREC, Brookdale Recreation and Event Center, and that is another uh, basketball court, full gymnasium. Um, you can have two basketball courts if you wanted or one big one. Um, Multi-purpose facility that we're able to house all of our intercollegiate sports indoors when the weather is incorporating outside. And like I said, we also use that for um, a lot of our um, events that we're able to rent out um, to outside organizations to come here at Brookdale to be able to share in what we have here. And how many can you seat in the arena? So the arena comfortably seats approximately 1,800 people and we have bucket seats up top that a lot of um, our fans like to sit in and we can seat 375 in those seats. We have a four lane running track and a lot of the community likes to come in and use that facility, likes to use that um, option as well and our student athletes are also able to use that to stay conditioned for their season. You've mentioned several of your great coaches here. As an athlete, is coaching more important about conditioning the student or is it lifting weights? So we have um, the best coaches here at Brookdale Community College and our students are the best product of that um, with all of their success. So our coaches are, are the full package. They're recruiting our students from day one. They're bringing them here on campus and they're continually working them through the academics and the athletics here at the college. Having those conversations if a student is not um, performing academically or athletically to where the coach feels they should be. Um, our coaches are extremely supportive on and off the field and it is something um, that I am so proud of as the director of athletics because that is why our students come to Brookdale. They come to Brookdale Community College because it's a great campus. It's a great institution to um, begin your collegiate career but at the same time we also have amazing coaches who are so supportive of our students and they really they follow our, they follow their players. Um, our student athletes just because they come to Brookdale when they, when they leave us after two years, the story's not over. We continue to check in on our student athletes and make sure that wherever they are, whether they went to another institution in New Jersey or they're somewhere else across the country, 
we make sure that we follow up and we want to we want to know how they're doing good bad or indifferent and that's what sets us apart from other community colleges um, in the state of New Jersey is that our coaches truly care about our students here at the college. We have to take a break now. We come back. I want to continue our conversation about Brookdale Athletics, and we'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This is Jersey. By now, you've heard a lot about the Brookdale Community College Athletics Program and their many offerings and highlights over the years. Athletics and Recreation Director Caitlin Amundsen is with us again to tell us how prospective athletes can find out more about the programs and how everyone can get involved in Jersey Blues community and support the college. So how can our viewers learn more about Brookdale Community College's athletic program? Sure, so the best spot for that is our website, which is brookdaleathletics.com. And on our website, we feature all of our schedules for all of our intercollegiate sports. And we also have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram that you can follow us at as well. And the best number to reach us is 732-224-2377. Um, and I encourage the, everyone to come out to our games, to come out and to see what we're all about and what it truly means to be a Jersey Blue and to get a first-hand experience of our coaches and our student athletes here at the college. Katie, thank you so much for being on our show. Good luck with all that you do and go Jersey Blues. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.